Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd here. Welcome to day 12, where we're going to talk about some PDF lead magnets. And we're going to cover how to create them, types of lead magnets, and I think you're going to dig this lesson today. So let's jump right into it as far as how to create. I'm going to jump over to a document here and kind of show you that. But first, let's just get you thinking about some types of lead magnets that you can use in your business here. Now, as far as PDF, it's because it's the most accessible document format. I think it stands for portable document format, actually. Uh, PDFs, you can read them on computers, you can read them on phones. Um, it's just better than sending somebody a text document or a Word document. We want to send them these types of things as PDF. Now, I like to try and keep them. It depends. If it's some type of free report, well, then it's as many pages as it is. Um, other than that, I usually go for brevity and have some type of cheat sheet, fast action guide, and keep it to one page here. But those are some types of lead magnets. So the first one some, uh, is some type of quiz that people get, right? Now, you say you've got it set up so that they hit your landing page. Uh, they fill in some options on this quiz, and then you send them, you email a PDF version of this quiz, and it's got some results on it. And in order for them to see the advanced or more, you know, the deluxe version of the results, and it's got a link over to your offer, or your sales page, something like that. Um, so another one is some type of cheat sheet, something that condenses a whole bunch of steps down, puts it onto one sheet for them. Uh, I'm a big fan of cheat sheets and creating these types of things. Another thing that we can do is some type of script, uh, especially when it comes to, say, maybe dealing with a vendor or getting some type of service. Uh, a pre-done script for people is a good type of lead magnet. Also, going in that direction is some type of fill-in-the-blank. Maybe it's a script, and they just have to go in and fill in some personalized stuff in order to customize it and make it their own. So like a fill-in-the-blank script or uh, some type of fill-in-the-blank document works as well. Now, the last one is some type of, here, this kind of plays off people's, you know, human nature and ego and vanity and that type of thing, and some type of personal assessment that they download and fill out to get more information or results about themselves, right? So I hope that's kind of got things like percolating for you and giving you some suggestions, some ideas, if you want to do some type of PDF lead magnet. Now, I'm going to jump over and show you really how easy it is to create this. Okay, so here I am. Like I said, I like doing cheat sheets, that type of thing. So here I've got kind of a fast action guide for a product that I made before. So it talks about for them. It just kind of condenses everything down onto one sheet for them and just something quick that they could print out and have on their, uh, you know, on their whiteboard or something like that or beside their desk. Uh, simple and easy to access. So once you're done, once this thing's done and I'm ready to go, there's two things I want to do. The first thing is that I want to hit save and make sure I've got this saved as its default word copy. The next thing I want to do is go to file and then save as. And then I'm just going to save this in my test folder here. Leave it called that. And I want to change this drop down from save as type. Change this to PDF. I want to make sure that open file after publishing is checked so I can check it out right away. That's it. All I do is hit save. Bing, bang, boom. This is going to bring me over. So now I'm inside my Adobe Reader. So I know now that I've got a PDF because this is my PDF Reader. And then from here, you see, I've got it. It's all on one page. Ready to go. That's it. Done. I've got a PDF. Now, um, from here, all I do is just upload this to wherever I need to. If I've got it saved in Dropbox or Google Docs or whatever, I'm going to have a link to share this out or, or that I'm going to use to actually link to this file online. And then that's it. That's all I need. So your homework for today, try it out. Create your own PDF document here. Um, I might have some links underneath this video for you to check out. As far as this, I might actually include a PDF document for you to check out yourself or a Word document that you can take and export as a PDF there. So try it out. And I'm going to be showing you as we go along here some more tips and tricks, things to do to kind of the advanced version of what you can do with your PDFs here. So that's it for today, and I will see you in the next video.